Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is the floating M in the M&M &M candy experiment. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is M&Ms, a cup or a bowl, and some water. Start off placing your M&Ms in the bottom of the bowl. Uh, make sure the M's are facing up, as you can see here. And then lightly uh, pour the water in uh, so you're not flipping the M&Ms over. I'm using regular tap water. You can use warm water. That will speed the experiment up a little bit. I fill the cup about halfway. The floating M doesn't happen immediately, but the colors dissolving off the M&Ms happen almost immediately. The materials used to the colors of the M&M start to dissolve quickly and you begin to see the colored dyes from the M&M dissolve as the sugar comes off and makes like a rainbow color if you pick multiple different colors. The chocolate on the other hand didn't dissolve very quickly, but we want to see the floating M. It took about 10 minutes before we got our first M and about another 5 or 10 minutes after that uh, to see the rest of the M's come up. Using the warmer water as I said earlier will speed up the process and you'll be able to see it a lot quicker. Up oh, and there it is, the floating M. Well, how does the M float? Well, it's made out of edible paper, and you can see this on paper cakes. And looking at the cup, and if you see the M, it kind of has a light square around the M, and that's your edible paper. Here you can see after another 10 or 15 minutes, all the M's have came off. You put your finger in, and the M will stick right to your finger. It's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, it doesn't have much of a taste when you give it a try. Go in there and get a second one for you. And we've got an M there too. So what we end up having is M&M &M fingers. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.